Good morning traders, this is Brian Booth, Senior Market Strategist with MF Global in Chicago with the morning update for the soft markets on Tuesday morning. We just had the opening bell in the stock market. It uh, looks as though uh, markets are setting up for what we've seen uh, t for uh, the typical Tuesday for the last uh, six or eight weeks here, the turnaround Tuesday after yesterday's strong rally. Um, I was pretty impressed in the overnight with the, uh, the crude oil extending its gains after yesterday's strong strong day uh, start is starting to falter just a bit you can you can tell if you look at any of the large markets here major markets that they're a little finicky um, so as far as the, the sauce markets are concerned there's not much to, to report I, I would just say that if you're you know if you're in positions just to, to have your technicals in place have your have your stops in place if you're in futures positions because all all the news is is waiting on next uh, or tomorrow's decision out of Europe it looks as though they're going to try to continue to what, what traders are calling and economists are calling kicking the can. Just do anything that they can to plug the um, plug the leaks here or potential uh, disasters in, in the eurozone by um, meeting expectations at least. Um, France and Germany need to come to some form of an agreement of uh, you know where we go from here. But we'll have more news on that tomorrow. So today, what I think you might see in anticipation of tomorrow's. Um, uh, numbers you may see the markets kind of settle a bit maybe do some range trading if anything the turnaround Tuesday might bring a pullback in the stocks and the crude oil and that will affect the the, uh, the um, soft markets as well so we'll give you last prices here 2647 again 2685 the September September low from last year keep your eyes peeled on that market um, for closes above that more than one would signal that we are uh, headed to higher prices despite the fundamentals just profit taking on uh, all the short positions that we've seen over the past few months sugar 2719 was the last there um, I looked at selling into that today uh, simply because we, we made our way on on the uh, on the daily chart just to slightly above the resistance that I was looking at on um, on yesterday's trade and then fell back below so I think that might have ran all the stops and We'll probably head lower if outside markets are moving lower. Sugar's fundamentals are continue to be pretty bearish here. Um, Dees Coffee, 255.08 is the area that I'm looking at. The 50 and the 100-day moving average come together at that price, and it's right near where we topped out in today's or in the overnight last night. If we're weak in uh, stocks and crude and, and have a strong dollar on the day, I think we could pull back in the coffee market. And lastly, cotton, 97.76 in December, just kind of range trading there. Um, so, you know, for today's trade, I, if, if you do see a, a pullback in the markets after the consumer confidence number at 9 o'clock, um, you know, get ready for some, some, uh, some continued selling, say, in the, in, the, in the sugar. Look for a pullback in the coffee. Um, cocoa, just keep an eye on the 2685 September low on the daily chart and the cotton. I think you're just going to continue to see uh, range trading until we get a decision out of Europe. So. Um, I don't think there'll be any big surprises in today unless we do have a major washout in, um, in, in uh, global equity, equity markets. Other than that, um, you know, can look for uh, continued kind of choppy trading up until Europe's decision. So if you have any questions about the softs or any of the markets that we trade at MF Global, feel free to contact my office at 800-993-6601 or by email at bbooth at mfglobal.com. And remember that futures trading involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors.